many side winds do you need to teach every week? Welcome back! I am Teacher Roselle of Sparklets Learning. We will talk about side words or tricky words today. Each week, introduce at least five side words or tricky words. You can adjust the number of side words depending on the ability of your child. If your child is a fast learner, you can add more. But if your child is having difficulty remembering five, then maybe make it three words. Be flexible. Do not push your child too much. Think of different strategies to motivate your child to learn. I will show you a number of ways to make learning more interesting through play. One way is to play memory game. Print, cut, and laminate two copies of each sight word. You can also just write them on a piece of paper with the same size if you cannot print, cut, and laminate. Arrange the cards upside down on the table. Then ask your child to begin opening two cards. Okay, open two cards. If they are not the same, the child should put back the cards in place. If the cards are the same, you ask the child to read them. And if the child will be able to read, the cards will be his or hers. Let them take turns in opening the cards. If you are dealing with only one child, then you can take turn with your child. Another game is our famous Give Me game. Lay down the cards on the table and say, Give Me. I should say, Give Me, and then say the word. The child will give you the card that you are asking for. If the child gives the wrong card, it means he or she has not mastered reading the sight word yet. Let the child ask you to give him or her a card by letting him or her be the leader. This way, you will find out if the child has mastered reading the sight words in your cards. Our next game is climbing up a ladder. Cut a ladder shaped hard paper or a future board like this. Stick the words this way. Ask the students to take turns in reading the words on the ladder. Whoever can read the words up to the last step of the ladder wins. If you are teaching only one child, you can give rewards or points depending on the number of steps she or he took. You can play this repeatedly until the children mastered reading all the words. You can also play sight words bowling. Print, cut, and stick the sight words on the bowling pins. You can just write the words on a piece of paper and stick them on the bowling pins if you cannot print them. Let the children take turns in hitting the bowling pins. The children should be able to read the words in the bowling pins that they strike. Make a record of the children's points. Make sure that their points are the number of words they were able to hit and read. The last one is the egg hunting game. Cut and put the sight words in the eggs. Did here. The other one are. Then hide the eggs somewhere and let the children find them. For every egg that they find, they have to open and read the words. If the children are able to read the words, they can keep the eggs. If the children cannot read the words, they have to put back the eggs where they found them. These games I presented today are very exciting for the children. They love running and moving as they play. These are only some of the fun activities that you can play with sight words as the lesson. You can use the games that we did with CVC words too by replacing the CVC words with sight words. When the children already mastered reading all the sight words for the week, you can give this writing activity with them. They can read and copy the words in these worksheets. All of the resources that we used in this video are available for free. Just click the link below and print them. So that's it for now. We hope that this will help you in teaching, whether at home or school. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to give us a sparkling like and click the subscribe button. Make sure you are notified by clicking the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video.